Queer Garson. Every respected film guidebook lists Queer Garson's place of birth as County Down. Even the distinguished actress never expressed a doubt about her origins. When she told her reporters at a press conference in New York in 1947, I was born in Northern Ireland at Greer's farm two miles from Uri on the Belfast Road. But Greer was not born there, but in London, at 88 First Avenue Manor Park, Essex, on October the 7th, 1908. She was baptised Eileen Evelyn Greer, after her mother's surname Garson. It is said that this flamed herd, Hollywood beauty, and her beautiful like cultured voice and aristocratic looks firmly believed that American audiences would find Ireland more romantic than Essex, so she let them believe she was born in Ireland. Her mother, Sophia Nina Greer, went to work in London as a civil servant. Whilst there, she married newspaper foreign correspondent George Garson, who died in 1908, when his only child was only one year old. Nina made a point of bringing her daughter back to her maternal home, the Rowans, a picturesque rambling house just outside Castle Wenham at least twice a year. Greer took up acting professionally in 1932, and five years later, when she was acting in the play called The Golden Arrow in the West End with Laurence Olivier, she was spotted by a movie mongol, Louis B. Mayer, who immediately signed her to a contract at MGM. After 11 months in Hollywood, she found out that Mayer had no plans for her in the future. Then in 1939, out of the blue, the MGM director Sam Wood found an old screen test of her when looking for his Miss Chips. She was awarded the much coveted female lead in the film and her impressive screen debut won her first nomination for an Academy Award. The critics thought she should have won, but didn't. But her co-star Robert Donet did for his performance as a kindly schoolmaster. Three years later, she starred in the immortal William Wiley's Miss Minifer, a film about an English family adjusting to everyday wartime problems. A film critic said at the time, it was President Roosevelt who committed the United States to the war in Europe, but it was the courageous wartime English matriarch, Miss Minifer, who won over the American public to the Allies' cause. The film won Oscars for Best Picture, Best Sporting Actress, and for Greer, the Best Actress Award, which turned out to be her only Oscar. Her acceptance speech in 1943 still stands today as the longest acceptance speech in Oscar history, at a lengthy 5 minutes and 30 seconds. This forced the Academy to bring in the role rationing future winners thank yous to 2 minutes, and this was later reduced in 1985 to 45 seconds. During the war years, she was world's leading actress, nominated for an Oscar five times. Every year from 1941 to 45, her roles in Blossom and Dust in 41, Random and Harvest in 42, Madame Curie in 43, Miss Parkington in 44, The Valley of Decision in 45, and her final nomination came in 1960, when she played Eleanor Roosevelt in Sunrise at Campo Bello. For the latter, she won a Golden Globe Award. There is a nice little story about the time in the 1960s she was persuaded to come out of semi-retirement to make a film. She agreed, but one of the stipulations in her contract was that the lighting cameraman should be the man who had photographed her so flatteringly during the high point of her career. Work began on the movie. Miss Garson was disappointed with the first rushes she saw. You're not photographing me as well as you used to, she complained. Well, Miss Garson, he said tactfully, don't forget I'm 10 years older. In 1996, Greer Garson died of heart failure in the Dallas Presbyterian Hospital in her early 90s.